What's up guys? Last week we talked about three easy steps that anybody can do to help secure their smart home network. And today we're gonna to take a look at a new product that's really gonna help bump up that security to another level for your smart home network and all your smart home devices. Let's go. Yo, what's going on guys? Thanks for joining me. For those new here, my name is Shane and on this channel I'm building an easy and affordable smart home using HomeKit. All right, so we're talking about smart homes here and these days any device that is connected to a network has the possibility of getting hacked or compromised. You know, for years we've all had like antivirus software and stuff that works on our cell phones even and our computers, tablets or whatever, but there's never been anything to protect all these other devices that we're starting to add to our home. So a lot of these like light bulbs, light strips, all this kind of stuff, even printers and all this, you know, it connects to our network. But there's nothing protecting those from vulnerabilities. Uh, well, that is where the Trend Micro home network security comes in. This attaches to your gateway or router to detect and block network attacks, intrusions, and web threats for all your devices in your smart home. So this thing is protecting you from vulnerabilities and attacks it's protecting all your all your devices, even all those smart home devices. Uh, something else that this does in addition to that is it gives you full control to see and manage everything that's on your network. It also includes like restrictions and parental controls. Now, full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Trend Micro and they did provide this product for free to review and share with you guys. But as always, you're gonna get my 100% honest opinion. I've used it for a little while and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think about it and my experience with it. So Trend Micro, if you've never heard of them, they are a global leader in the uh, cybersecurity space. This isn't just like some no-name brand that created a device that wants you to plug it into your router and look at all your traffic. This is a, a company that's been around for a long time. They are well known in the sort of the security world, the IT world, mostly known for their antivirus and, and security software and stuff over the years. Uh, so they're a well-known and trusted brand um, and, and they've made this new product that helps you protect your entire house and, and watch for vulnerabilities across all your products. And this thing is super easy to set up, but without further ado, let's go ahead and take it out of the box, get it set up, and we'll show you what it can do. The packaging is really nice. It's, it looks like a well-made product and packaging. All right, so taking it out of the box, here's the device itself. We'll plug our power cord here. We will plug our ethernet cord here with the other end going to our router. It's a getting started guide. Here is a pairing code that we will be using for later. It includes a power cord here. And here's our ethernet cord. And here's some information for the included two year warranty. All right, now let's plug it into our router and get it all set up so we can show you what it does. So you'll need to first download the Trend Micro's home network security app and then really just follow the prompts. It's super easy. Read and accept the privacy disclosure and license agreement. Then we'll be asked to put in that pairing code. Next, you're gonna be prompted to create a Trend Micro account if you don't already have one. At that point, you'll get some overview screens and that's it for the setup. Now that we've got it all set up, we're just gonna kinda of walk through the app and I'm gonna show you everything that this thing can do so you can see for yourself if you think this is something that would be worth um, adding to your smart home setup. Here we are in the dashboard and you can see right away uh, it says 31 devices protected. Um, under the summary, it says 38 devices protected and no threats blocked. I still haven't figured out exactly what the difference is there. Maybe that's uh, 31 devices that are currently on the network. You know, sometimes, you know, phones and stuff are sleeping, tablets or whatever. So maybe 38 devices is that total number. You can already see um, the parental controls. So I set this up a little while ago and have been using it for a while and set up some parental controls and you can see it blocks some websites here which we'll talk about a little bit more in a, in a minute but just want to run through the uh the dashboard here so i created different family members for my household you can add pictures and things and so here i went in and i grouped uh, all the specific devices to each person that they belong to i created a different account for my smart home and here if i go under devices you can see here i've got all these devices that are 
my smart home devices. So I created a separate user just to put my uh, smart devices under so I can kind of see what's going on really easily. And then we're scrolling down uh, top attack devices. So thankfully there's uh, nothing was attacked, but you'll see right here if something's getting attacked a lot, you'll get notified of that. All right, and this last section down here at the bottom of the dashboard is your network usage. Uh, I find this is pretty cool, um, and I'll tell you why. Let's go ahead and tap on it. It shows you the amount that was downloaded and uploaded for each accessory, each device on the network. So that's really cool. This first one here is the most used. This is my MacBook. I uploaded a video to YouTube, um, you know, one day in these seven days. So you can see that huge span of green right there. That's that's what that was from, all that upload. Um, you know, streaming from my Apple TV in my living room right here. So if you see a device on here, for example, you know, maybe like a, a light bulb or a vacuum or something that you don't think should be sending much data or downloading much data, but it's on here and showing that there's a lot of usage, then, you know, that's room for concern, I guess. Um, so this is really cool just to see what devices are doing what uh, in this little area right here. All right, so let's go back. What I'm gonna do is I will go here and I'll check the timeline, okay? And this is cool, this kind of gives you an overview of your network and shows everything that's happening. Shows you when the last security check was. So you'll see the station was disconnected. I was actually doing some speed tests, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, but you can see when new devices join the network and all kinds of stuff here in the timeline. So that's really cool. Um, devices, this is a list of all the devices on your network. And you, as you can see, I've gotten most of them labeled and categorized already. But if I, you know, if I tap on one of them, it gives you all the information, IP address, brand, all that. You can fill in and change a lot of this stuff here. Um, another cool thing um, on this here, so if I choose one of these light bulbs, and this is a vocal link light strip, uh, I can tap on this active ports here, and I can look up the ports that it's using to communicate, and if you want, you can do some research and you can look up these ports and see kind of what it's used for. Obviously, if there's some strange unknown port being used, then that's another reason for concern also. If you tap on report, you can see what all Trend Micro is looking for. So you can see vulnerabilities, ransomware websites, network attacks, web threats, remote access, smart alert. So you can look into this um, and see if anything's been detected. You can see if there's been any of these vulnerabilities or attacks. It's doing this for every single device that's connected on your network. So that's pretty awesome, pretty powerful something that you couldn't easily do without a device like this. Um, then down at the very bottom, you'll see unassigned um, devices, and these are devices that you can go in and, as and assign to a specific user if you haven't already. Under the family, this is where you can create new users. As you can see, I've got mine laid out. You can add more here. The network, this is that same um, area we were looking at earlier where you can see the network usage and what devices are being used on the network. Voice control, here you can actually connect this thing to work with Alexa or Google Assistant. Um, it doesn't have a HomeKit integration, unfortunately, but you, know, you can ask if my network is okay. Uh, you can turn off the internet for certain people and stuff like that. Let's take a look at the settings. Okay, so threat blocking helps prevent external attacks and malicious network behavior. Got that turned on. Web threat protection, so you can um, block dangerous web websites, dangerous files blocked, and you have an approved list here where you can make sure things aren't blocked if you need to. So here you got remote access protection, limit remote access connections to your devices, and you can also require approval. So um, with this turned on, you can uh, require approval just for a device to join your network. So, you know, if you're worried about people joining your network or whatever, you can turn that on. Device scan, um, scans devices for default passwords and vulnerability checks, scans your home network for risk and vulnerabilities. So if you remember uh, last week in our tip video, we were talking about, you know, using strong passwords and not using, you know, default admin passwords. 
This right here will check that to make sure you're not using any default admin passwords um, because that's definitely something you would want to change. And then here is a notification. So with this turned on, you can get notifications for, you know, anytime there's an attack on any of your devices, dangerous websites are blocked, remote access. When, when there's vulnerabilities found, you can get notified uh, when new devices are added. And with this turned on, you'll get notified if anybody's adding a new device to your network, so you'll know it just like that. Early access program. So the early access program allows you to do, use some other new features that they're rolling out. Um, smart alert here, detect unusual network activity using machine learning. So that's really cool. So I've got that turned on. You can learn more about all this stuff in here. Um, I'm just gonna kind of go through it all because there's so much to talk about. Router access protection, require permission for primary router access. I've got that turned off currently. Ad block, which is block ads on all of your connected devices. I've got that turned on for now. And cyber shield, real time defense against cyber attacks. I've got that turned on. Okay, and so we really just want to real quickly show you some of these parental controls that are really great. There's a button right there just to pause the internet. So, I mean, what? You can just pause the internet for all your kids' devices all at once. That's pretty cool. You know, your kids piss you off one day, just hit that pause button, and they're going to freak out and not know what to do. I'm going to go ahead and tap on uh, one of my kids here, and if you go to the settings, uh, you can see some of the controls here. Here you can uh, see the filtering, okay? So this is really cool. So you can choose when, when to get notified, you can choose what to block, you can choose kind of a pre-configured uh, setup by just choosing the age here. And it's gonna change all these settings based on their kind of default settings for that age. Or you can go in here and choose to allow or disallow any of these individual settings for each thing. So. Uh, this is all just really great stuff to have. Um, you can turn on Google Safe Search from here, turn on YouTube Restricted Mode from here. You know, we, all of our kids are on YouTube, you know, right? So uh, this is all really cool stuff. You can create a custom setting for each kid. So you can see uh, to get notifications here uh, from different app categories as well. You can set up your time limits. You can add rules, get connection alerts when certain devices are connected a lot of control here let me go into this other profile and you can see where i have uh, some time limits set up already there's rule one okay monday tuesday wednesday thursday you can specify the amount of time if you want or a specific time slots if you like and you can add as many rules as you like uh, under each profile so now this thing does work with most routers out there, but there is a compatibility list, which I will link that down below. If you wanna just double check and make sure your router is compatible with this. It does cost $149.95. I did see recently it was on sale for um, $109.95. So this does require a subscription, but when you buy the product, you get a year subscription included, okay? And after that year, you'll have to maintain a subscription. Uh, here in North America, it is uh, $59.95, so $60 for that subscription after the first year. So again, that first year is included, then you pay $60 thereafter. And honestly, it's not too bad once you see what all this can do. I did do a bunch of speed tests uh, with this, and I wanted to see if it was slowing down my network at all. So it's just worth noting that it did slow down my speed slightly, but that's kind of to be be expected because essentially all communication and traffic is going through this trend micro because they're scanning everything so with the speed decrease uh, it's not really enough to make a big difference I haven't noticed any issues I've still been streaming you know movies and live TV uh, from my Apple TV and stuff like that and haven't noticed any uh, connection issues there just worth noting if you do get this device and experience some some speed issues you know maybe look into that all in all this device is pretty cool I do think it's worth it especially if you have um, a family and kids and, and you want to be able to have that control as well as all the um, the protection and and monitoring of all those smart devices on your network for just over a hundred dollars man I, I gotta admit it's, it's a pretty good device uh, maybe you're not an IT or, or a security expert I certainly am not. This thing makes it super easy. You don't have to worry so much about your stuff being compromised or hacked. Uh, you'll see if you're getting attacked or anything like that immediately. So, you know, check this thing out. I'm gonna put links in the description down below. 
If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment down below. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to check out last week's video where we discussed just three super easy things that anybody really can do to improve the security among your smart home. Getting this Trend Micro device really does step up that security to the next level and, and gives you so much control and stuff over your network and the devices on that network. So if you got something out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. Again, my name is Shane and on this channel, I'm building an easy and affordable smart home using HomeKit. So if that's something you're into, be sure to subscribe, click the bell icon so you don't miss when I post a new HomeKit video every week. And until the next time, we'll see y'all later.